might like to know that the Michigan Wolverines have won 676 football games in their 107. Evan Brattle, who is from Sylvania, Ohio, just a short ways down the road from the stadium. 44-yard field goal try. Got it. It wasn't all that authoritative, but it had enough carry and crept over by a couple of yards. At 2.39 to go in the first quarter, 3-0 Notre Dame. And then adjust our coverages to where he is lining up. He's wide, top of the picture, along with Ward. Andrew Zach back to pass. Brown a little delay. He's in the end zone. He's wide open. And Andrew Zach didn't see him. Now he forces one in there, and he makes the catch anyway. <laughs> Touchdown, Notre Dame. And Brown makes the play. Take a look at it. Now, Andrew Zach can't see him. Those linemen, offensive and defenses, he can't see him. Now he keeps moving. <laughs> Andrew Zach says, I want to keep looking for you. I've got a lot of confidence that you can catch this ball. Make me look good. Outstanding play. All right, Tim Brown. Fullback, thanks. Touchdown. Notre Dame's lead now is imposing. The picture. Loops it up for McMurtry. Touchdown. And for McMurtry. 17 to 7 the score. Ted Grottle to try a 38-yard field goal. And he's got it. And so now the score goes to 20 to 7. Rob goes toward the post. They pitch it back to Waters. Waters breaks the tackle at the line of scrimmage. Touchdown, Notre Dame. And the things that he can do offensively, and he's not. Time out. 6-14 to play in the ball game. Notre Dame, this will go down as one of the big ones for him. 26-7, the Irish. Leads the series, 33 wins, 18 losses, and of course, that most famous tie. At the one-yard line, and he goes down one yard deep. Blake Ezor, a safety. He caught it one on the one-yard line. He took two steps backward and went down on one knee. Possession was in the field of play. Took a step back, put his... First quarter, Notre Dame leads 2-0. Field goal try for Ted Grattle, whose granddad and father both graduated from Notre Dame. It's on its way, and it's good. It's been all Notre Dame in the first quarter. 4.08 left to go. A safety and a field goal. The Irish lead by five. A Michigan State record. This one a little bit wobbly. Tim Brown at the 30. Tim Brown. One man to beat. He's gone. the last one 70 yards for the only touchdown in the game Irish are coming Montgomery hangs it high he backs back Brown up to the 34 one man to beat again Tim Brown will score Going to get sacked in the end zone. The 
second safety of the first half, Jeff Koontz. Outer on its way, and it is good. 24 nothing. It's been all Notre Dame. 24 scores and highlights with one green 24. in the third quarter. Rison will score. Beat Francisco over Michigan State 31 to 8 a great deal to Freddie Akers and the Boilermakers over the years. Purdue has had big upsets against the Fighting Irish. Looked as if for a while they might have enough today. It's a classic rivalry. Doug Donning will look for his tight end Brad Schumacher. He'll find him. After he had fallen in the end zone, he makes a brilliant catch. And that puts them ahead. The Boilermakers are up 17-10 and sophomore fullback Anthony Johnson goes over and we're tied at 17. Lou Holtz loves it. With a score 20 to 17, Johnson's 12-yard dash he has three touchdowns in the game, and it's 24-20. Irish obviously need some insurance. They'll get it, and they go right to the Heisman frontrunner for that insurance. Terry Andrzak, who had been benched early in the game by Lou Holtz, finds Timmy Brown for the score, and Notre Dame comes from behind. They were down 17-10 at one point. They beat Purdue by a final of... team in the country. Hayward again. Touchdown again. Go back to the studios. Scores and highlights with our game day host, Tim Brando. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Far from over. Irish getting back into it. Braxton Banks. In the center of the field. This will be a 20-yard try, and it is good, but barely. Holtz thought it was wide to the left, so did the Irish. Now, they've, they've played brilliantly in the second half and held it down. Option just got it back to Green, and Green will score. The philosophy here is you drop the little dribble, it goes 10 yards, it's a loose football, and the Irish have got it. Notre Dame's got the football. Out of bounds. Six seconds are left, and that was fourth down. Panthers led 27-0 at halftime. They hung on. It was almost a miracle comeback by the Irish. Mike Godfrey gets his 58th win. Let's Colorado, go. Notre Dame in the Air Force quarterback. That's him. Tony Wright, the sophomore, replacing Terry Andrzak with a broken collarbone, and Lou Holtz's team was up 14-0. Fourth quarter, Tim Brown took over. Watch number 81, the Heisman hopeful. Boy, does he just look great on film. He looks just, he's highlight material all the way. 74 yards into the end zone. Irish, who have had trouble with Air Force in the past, had no trouble in Colorado today, blowing out the Falcons 35-14 as the Irish run their record to 4-1. Coming up, up to now, it is Notre Dame and USC, the Trojan State, about 15 miles from here in Elkhart. But the Fighting Irish, well, it's a good... off a fake. Pete rolling to the right. Drops it, and it is for Paul Jackson in the end zone. He hammers it right through. Notre Dame is on the scoreboard. Three, SC, and we'll be right back. Five yards of rush here so far this afternoon. Keeps it, Rice breaks free. Touchdown, Notre Dame. It puts Timmy 
Brown in the backfield, and here he comes. Touchdown, Notre Dame! We'll be right back. Up against everybody in this school. 32-yard attempt. How's that? He likes the left pass. <laughs> yeah, Pat, I think so. And a word from your local station. And a word. Yeah. Great option. Finally into the hands of Green, and he goes for the touchdown. And 26-7, would you folks? And they get it. Again, give him some credit. And we'll be back to sign it off in just a moment. Who's out? And let's talk a little bit about Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish had won 24 straight games against the midshipmen. But the story of this day was what happened with the Heisman front runner. Yeah, Notre Dame, it's getting to be a habit, beating Navy. 21-3 Irish late in the first. Anthony Johnson already has two of four touchdowns. Now it's Tim Brown's turn. The flanker follows his blockers on the reverse. That gets him to the one, setting up another score. 28-3 Notre Dame. Last play before the half, Kent Graham at quarterback for the Irish. He will unload a bomb to, guess who? Tim Brown. Well, you've got divine guidance, and you're into the end zone, Tim Brown. You didn't fumble. Touchdown. Third quarter. This does not count, but look. Now, say that Tim Brown doesn't get the stats every week that a Heisman winner should get. This doesn't even count, and to me it means more, or should mean more, into the downtown athletic club than any other highlight we've seen of Tim Brown all year. That was incredible what he did to the middies. I don't care if he did it to the little sisters of the poor. He is the Heisman frontrunner, 56-13 to 13 the final. Tennessee and Boston College. Welcome back to CNN Sports Saturday. Notre Dame's victory over Boston College today wasn't a black and blue one. It was a brown and green one. The brown is Heisman Trophy candidate Tim Brown, who had over 290 all-purpose yards. The green was Mark Green. Notre Dame coach Lou Holtz. No, they didn't have a blackout at Notre Dame. They had a green and brown out. Uh, speaking of Mr. Green, you will see why he has become one of the top runners that Notre Dame has had in a few years. A 33-yard scamper, but Notre Dame was down 17 to 12, two-point conversion failed. The Eagles of Boston College came right back. Mike Power to the other Flutie. Darren, a 31-yard score, 25-12, Boston College. Jim Bell fumbled for Boston College. Irish took over. Tony Rice hits who else? But Tim Brown, that set up an Anthony Johnson touchdown, 25-18, Boston College still led it. Jack Bicknell thought he could still pull off the upset. Fourth quarter, seven consecutive carries for Green. This is the eighth one, a score, the winning score. 32-25 Irish. BC did try to rally. Mike Power, he was sacked five times on third down plays in the second half. Here's one of them. And the Irish ran out the clock. That final, 32-25. to Now, the Irish, you're talking about a tough schedule. Their next three games, Alabama, Penn State, and then Miami. UCLA didn't bring gas to the Irish Green. of Notre Dame being introduced. And in just moments, Alabama will be taking on Notre Dame. What kind of a game do we expect? This one figures to be a land war. From not missed from inside the 40 this year for field goals. And he hammers this one through. Alabama, on its opening drive, moves down and kicks a 34-yard field goal. They'll be right back. Goal. We'll continue. Off the option. Rice keeps it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Who holds? We'll be right back. Throws the pop pass for the touchdown. Andy Heck, the tight end. He adds three more to the Irish total. Notre Dame gives up an early three, but they've crushed the tide since then.
And the kick is good, so Doyle represents all of Alabama's points here in the first half. It was the surprise call of the game. This would be a 22-yarder. He's perfect. Three field goals by Ted Grottle. First points of the second half. The Irish still lead it. Here's Green on the toss. Great cutback. Green explodes at midfield. Finally steps out of bounds. They signal touchdown. Wait. They signal touchdown. He went down the sideline for 74 yards. What a great leg he showed him. Huh? And we'll be right back. Fielded an offense with 10 of 11 starters from different states. Now he comes with Waters. He's the freshman running back. And he breaks free with great speed. Looking for an alley. He'll go. Ricky Waters of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for 75 yards. I'm Brent Musburger sending you back to New York, and here's Jim Nance and Eric Farsigan. Jimmy? All right. Those who are majoring in logic stayed home to watch on television. The Notre Dame Fighting Irish against the Penn State Nittany Lions. Good time to throw it. Oh, they'll hand it off. Oh, up the middle. John Green, touchdown. And by seven. Seven, nothing. Penn State leads it. Option play, Rice keeps. Rice runs. Needs one block, gets it, gets it down. Touchdown. Timmy Brown with a block at the goal line, and we're a point away from the time. Not necessarily part of their, a big part of their attack, but it doesn't have to be when you're throwing the ball to a guy like Brown. Left and starts back to the right. Toss, Thomas, touchdown, Penn State. Corners. Touchdown, Notre Dame, his second of the game. Power eye formation left. They hand it off to John Green. Touchdown, his second of the day. Crossed him up for the counter play. Crossed him up for the counter play. A 15 play Penn State drive has regained the lead for them. First, they've got to get the touchdown. Fullback, Notre Dame has scored. Anthony, Anthony Johnson pulls the Irish to within one with 31 seconds to go. Slot. They've got him double covered now. Karpinski comes in. Here's the rollout. Away. No. Pete Kirkendall. Twenty-one twenty. Coming up next, Oklahoma again. Michigan and Notre Dame coming up. First half, Ricky Waters. Standing back on his own 30-yard line is driven back by Gillette. Inside the 20 on a beautiful punt. But Waters finds a hole, one man to beat. He's gone. Ricky Waters makes like Tim Brown on his first punt return. There are no penalty flags. Michigan, seven and nothing. I love it. Hoodoo, hoodoo. Three more for the Fighting Irish. Ho gets the last laugh. Nothing. College football on CBS will return after this message. And the follow through is.
Let's watch the 5-4 hole. Plays perfect again. And then over the top for the touchdown. Team 7, Notre Dame. Keeps it on the bootleg for the touchdown. Michigan scores as Taylor come back. Notre Dame will be receiving the kickoff. His third attempt is perfect. 31 yards, 38 yards, now 26. Big Ben, and you have a 5-5, 159 yard effort for Gillette. Solemn to hold. Gillette hammers it long enough. Good. And Michigan leads on a 49-yard field goal. He has been forced to kick off, punt, and attempt all and number 11, Pete Graham. So here we go, a 26-yarder. Good for Ho. He's four for four. The biggest little man in South Bend. is on the way. No good. Notre Dame wins it. It's the 54th meeting between the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame and the Spartans of Michigan State. Quick as he is, he took the entire. So this will now be a 39-yard field goal attempt. Langlow's kick is on the way, and it is good. John Langlow, the sophomore at the 7-29 mark. Oh, out of Hawaii. Only 5'5", five 135. He gets it up high, doesn't he? And it's down the middle. And it's all even at Spartan Stadium. Carry the 50 yard plus field goal. They'll let somebody else. 22 yard attempt and Ho, who gets the ball up so quickly, able to nail that one. And Notre Dame has an 6 to 3, 4 11 left to go. And this three is trying to add to that. Nice on the option. Keeps it. Five. Touchdown, Notre Dame. A good moment for the coach of the Irish. Running back now behind Bobby McAllister. Crowd very quiet. Stepping oh, up. Oh, it's a Stonebreaker. Michael Stonebreaker, 10, 5, touchdown. rivalry but not since Lou Holtz took over for Jerry Founce. In the last three games against Purdue, Notre Dame has outscored the Purdue Boilermakers 137 to 36. This afternoon Purdue led uh, was fed a steady diet of rice and water. Tony Rice here doing the honors as he goes 38 yards for the first score of the day for Notre Dame. There would be many more to follow. Rice also threw for two scores. He was 5 of 10 on the day. People had questioned his arm. That's Raheem Ismail. The 54-yard touchdown play, the Irish then let Ricky Waters do his stuff. He's going to be compared to Tim Brown, but he may be a better punt returner than Tim Brown. This is his second touchdown of the year. Hard to argue with that. 66 yards. The final, Notre Dame 52, Purdue 7. The Irish field goal kicker Reggie Ho missed his first attempt of the year, but it was a 47-yarder. Rice on the day, 119 yards, three scores. Michigan and Florida Siena. We have a sellout crowd of more than 59,000 to watch the Stanford Cardinal against the Fighting Irish. Third and one. Rice with a keeper. He's got the first down and more. He might break it. Touchdown, Notre Dame. <laughs>
Brooks on the toss. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Stanford on the season, giving up less than 14 points a game. They've already given up 21. He sets as a running back. Keeper. Touchdown, Stanford. Wants to throw, floats it for his tight end, Brown, touchdown. Comes through for him again. Columbus on fourth and six. Wants it all, throws end zone, touchdown, Henry Green. The quarter, we'll be back in a minute. the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame ranked fifth in the nation, and the Panthers of Pitt. Fifth, and that is Dan Crossman, the fullback, on second and ten. Boy, Lee, you're right. Williams is down in the end zone. Touchdown! We get in the series. We'll tell you about it when we return. Yeah, I'm serious. It's a great idea. Watch everybody go to the fullback, and it leaves a natural hole there for Rice. Mike Health, the center, 55, made a big... He's thinking exactly the way Godfrey was thinking and the way I was thinking. He and Holtz's reaction was this. They don't think I'm on with this. Medical studies. Notre Dame takes the last one. Split to the top of your screen. Dickerson. Finally throws it deep. He's got two. Touchdown. Pitt Stadium. Notre Dame. Nine yards out of the hold of Pete Graham. It's good. Reggie Ho puts the Irish on top, 17 to 14. Boy, he gets excited, doesn't he, Lee? Can you imagine? The four passes, he's caught two on this series. Dickerson's got room inside. He loses a football, loses it, still loses it. He got it. One. Banks on the right side. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Osborne to hold. Give it to Green, number 24. Green, touchdown, Notre Dame. Notre Dame leads Pitt by 10. Down and seven. The 29-yard line. Dickerson. Intercepted. Intercepted by number 97. That's Arnold Ali. He brings it back, and Pitt drops to two and three. So, for Lee Corso, I'm Roger Twyville. Thanks for being with us from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We'll send you to... These are the kind of games you can't wait to play. The Irish have to get inside the three for a first down. So it is third and four against this defense. Rice keeping it. He'll go for the touchdown. over 
to the left side on the inside. Second and seven. Walsh under pressure. Ball is knocked free, and the Irish pounce on it. And Steve Walsh thinks he was throwing the ball. He thought his arm was moving forward. Signals down at the student body section. He will throw here. He's got his man, Andre Brown, and he is short of the goal line. No, they rule he's in. Touchdown, Miami. And that's a heads-up play by Arnold. Uses some power to get the ball into the end zone. We'll be right back. Close game, then they being able to run the football. Now third and five. Slot to the left and Rice to throw going in. Drops it off for a touchdown. Pullback. Braxton Banks, Notre Dame leads again. Notre Dame leading Miami, but early. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. Walsh's pass is deflected and intercepted. Terrell will go the distance. We'll be right back. First down, Conley going for the corner. Touchdown, Miami. A terrific call by Jimmy John. Jim Sexton set the punt when Miami down. Walsh pulls it out. As protection, there it is. Cleveland Gary for the touchdown. Miami does it again, just what they do best of all. What a fabulous college football. Five by Steve Walsh with no timeouts. Eight to be of 15 minutes in the closing two minutes of the first half. They run on first down, and the Irish defense, nothing going there. Ball pops free. Notre Dame ball. Boy, I'll tell you. Did not punt well. This time he has the wind at his back. And they go to the short man on the fake. The fake punt, first down, Notre Dame. Number 91 has started to exert himself as the weak side outside linebacker. Rice to throw on first down. Has time. Waters open. He's got it. Out of bounds at the four-yard line. Rice to Waters. And goal with the full house. Rod West, number 43, checks into the backfield. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Pat Eilers. Regain the lead, 28-21. Irish with five. They come on the blitz, and it's intercepted. Jeff Ohm intercepts the ball. The Irish blitz forces Walsh to the short drop. Miami with tremendous kick-blocking ability. And this one on the money. It's a 10-point Notre Dame lead. Be right back. Beautiful kick. Never a doubt about that one. And the lead is now seven. And everything. Miami puts it down. Notre Dame pounces on the loose ball. Walsh is quickly there. Was he called down? Notre Dame ball. They have fumbled at the one-yard line. Jimmy Johnson furious. Mike. And again, Walsh. Stams gets him from behind. The ball's on the ground. Notre Dame. Frank Stams does it again. Aren't they something? Touchdown, Andre Brown. Now they'll go for two, I believe. To the right. between the student body of this school and the football team. And they are embracing one another now, down on the 
field here in South Bend. Yardage leader to South Bend for the Irish in the Air Force and overcast skies, but it was Notre Dame raining on Air Force's parade. Best run of the day, Anthony Johnson. It's only 13 yards. Point after touchdown was no good, 20 to 6. But then Andy Smith comes back for the Air Force, 20 to 13 Notre Dame. That's the way we went into the half. Then it's Tony Brooks from Tony Rice. And 42 yards later, Notre Dame led it 27 to 13. Lou Holtz's reaction, speechless. Late in the third quarter, still 27-13 Irish, Tony Rice. Reserve quarterback Steve Bellis. And this is to Ricky Waters. Waters had two touchdowns on the day. Notre Dame had a 34-13 lead and coasted to the victory against a very good offensive team. The final was 41-13. Give credit to that Notre Dame defense. Air Force came in averaging 521 yards. They were held to 216. The Irish are now 7-0. and oh. Miami, a big winner over Cincinnati. Than it was for West Virginia. The race for number one all of a sudden very muddled. We have West Virginia. Notre Dame will be the new number one team in the nation. Of course, Notre Dame and Miami have already met, there, but there's uh, plenty of talk, of course, of a rematch should the two be at the top come New Year's Day, or rather the day after New Year's. This afternoon, both could relax. After all, they both had breathers scheduled. Notre Dame went over to Baltimore to play Navy. The Naval Academy comes out in strong force, but not exactly on the football field. And early on, burp, fumble. Notre Dame and White looks like an inter-squad game, doesn't it, when these two teams get together? Hard to tell them apart, except Notre Dame's a White, and they pounced on the fumble. And a couple of plays later, Tony Rice, the play-action pass, finding Derek Brown, and Brown made a nice grab, stretching out for the touchdown, and it was 7-0 early. It looked like a rout, and actually it wasn't, a, it wasn't that uh, questionable, the victory at all. Uh, Rodney Culver takes the handoff, goes straight up the gut and into the end zone, but Navy, boy, did Navy play a tough game. Hung in there the whole time. Navy's lost 25 games in a row to Notre Dame, and the Irish, which are off to an 8-0 start, their best start since their 1973 national championship team, hold on but to win, but only by 15. Meanwhile, Miami of Florida went to... Uh, Greenville, North Carolina, to face East Carolina today. And Jimmy Johnson. Notre Dame could be in the throes of a $6 million season. That's how much the Gator Bowl is dangling as bait to lure the Irish against West Virginia for a potential national championship game. The Fiesta also wants that matchup, and the reason is the resurrected Irish. 8-0 for the first time in 15 years. Number one for the first time since Jerry Faust's first game. They haven't met Rice since the year after that 1973 unbeaten national championship team. And although the Owls came in with 14 straight losses, Lou Holtz actually said, I have never in my coaching career had a game which concerns me as much as this one. And cause for concern. They were down 3-0 to nothing to Rice in the first quarter when the one-man gang, Rahib the Rocket Ishmael, runs over a man, then turns on the speed, gets a great block there, and goes 78 yards on the ensuing kickoff after Rice had taken the field goal lead, 7-3 Notre Dame. Squib kick to keep it away from this magnificent runner. Now we're in the fourth quarter, and he turns on that 4-2 speed and just outruns everyone. 83 yards. He runs back two kicks for a total of 161 yards, tying the school record from 1922. But this was a first ever. The blocked extra point attempt and the new rule in Division I. Billy Stone picks up the blocked PAT and goes the other way, 85 yards. Yes, you can now pick up points for such an effort. And Rice gets two of them here. Notre Dame blows out the Owls, 54 to 11. Notre Dame is now 9 and 0, and they took on Rice only because SMU was on probation. They play 4 and 4 Penn State in two weeks, and then the big showdown coming up November 26. Southern Cal, it's on its way to maintaining their unbeaten record. Rivalries in college football. The top-ranked Fighting Irish of Notre Dame host the Nittany Lions of Penn State on a damp and grisly day out in South Bend, Indiana. Just under 43 degrees. Game started. Two tight ends again. Power formation. Just going attack. Second and goal. Rice on the left side. Has a man in the end zone if he wants him. Instead, scores himself. for Notre Dame. Mark Green breaks a tackle to the 10. Green, touchdown Notre Dame. Mark Green. It's Etsy's first field goal attempt of the year. And he blasts it. And it's good. From 52 yards. 
week, Notre Dame held the ball for more than 20 minutes of the first half. They lead it 14 to 3. Waters and Ishmael at the bottom of the screen. Rice play action, and he looks in that direction. He's going deep in the direction of Ishmael. Inside the 20, touchdown Notre Dame. 68-yard touchdown. They call him Rocket. He runs a 4-2-8-40. Right now, let's go downstairs. Here's Leslie this one. Leslie? I just need a camera. Tony Brooks are not here. They were sent home to South Bend for missing dinner. Defensive plan, much the same as USC linebacker Scott Ross told us yesterday. You can't be too wild. You've got to key on your people. Option Rice, wide open, streaking down the sidelines, and he's going to score a touchdown. No flags, Notre Dame. Nothing Irish. Here we go, guys. This is Gutson. No, Green. And Green's got a touchdown. Rips at the goal line, but tumbles in. in California and Notre Dame from the 20 sticks at the end zone and with one the ugliest people have been in the white shirt Lockwood is the tailback got the ball touchdown 4 minutes and they're on the board they're going to air it out they've got 3 wide out 52 seconds to go feet back Good protection. He passes away. The pass is incomplete. Intended. Intercepted. Intercepted by Magala. And touchdown. Force Magala. He stepped right in front of Jackson, and Rodney Pete is down on the field hurt. See, they're blitzing so much they had good protection that time. Yep. They were just short. Green, touchdown, Irish. Oh, off the clock, and Tony Southall, the free safety, became the school as a running back was the man who had the final carry, and this one is history. Six in a row for Notre Dame. Your final score, the Fighting Irish, 27. Southern California, 10. And number one stayed number one. The Irish have now beat Southern California, Rose Bowl, Michigan, Rose Bowl, Michigan State, Gator Bowl, Miami, Orange Bowl. To tee it up, and Billy Hackett, who is their long-range kicker, will kick off. 13th time in bowl history. And, of course, most recently last year in the Orange Bowl when Miami beat number one Oklahoma and two years ago here at Sun Devil Street. It is good! So Billy Hackett, who made three field goals during the regular season, gets Notre Dame on the board first. 10-25 remaining in the opening quarter. Anthony Johnson is the man to watch the fullback or Rice on a keeper. Johnson, touchdown. Anthony Johnson, who scored five times this year, the junior from South Bend, Indiana, who has married his team a 9 0 advantage. So threatening to make it more than 9 0. They got a touchdown, Rodney Culver. to look like they've been there before. No second chance on third down. So fourth down, in comes Charlie Bauman to try a field goal, and he knocks it straight through from 29. That's not what the Mountaineers wanted. They were looking for seven or eight. They have to settle for three, and it's still the Irish, 16 to three. <laughs> well, no pressing here. On third and long, Rice. Ismail for a touchdown. Four. 
experience. They believe in themselves. 31-yard attempt by Bauman is right in the middle, and that's the end of the first half. A half in which Notre Dame showed its firepower, and the Irish flexed it. Three, the Mountaineers of West Virginia 6 will be back after these messages from your local station. The Academic All-America. He's got a routine, a little magical touch with the fingers, and now his kick is good from 30 yards. Ho kicked four field goals in the opening season win against Michigan, has his first today, it's 26 to six. I believe there's a lot of pain in that body right now. Looks to the end zone, has a man open, Grant for a touchdown. Gravis Bell. Sir Harris returns, and the Mountaineers applaud. Caught the 57-yard pass. The fake, the throw, the touchdown to Frank Jacobs, who caught only one pass all year for Notre Dame. He's got one for a touchdown in the Fiesta Bowl. Timeout. Notre Dame, 34, West Virginia, 13. Right. Reverse to Rembert, who scored several times on that play and gets one here in the Fiesta Bowl. And the Irish, boy, they, their tempers are still up. Fans, as they celebrate, Lou Holtz predictably acknowledging his team as they beat West Virginia 34-21. Well, there are always two. Sun falling here in the Valley of the Sun. Here's the Notre Dame perfect slate. Michigan, Michigan State, Purdue, three Big Ten teams, and Stanford, Pittsburgh, the big game, Miami, and South Bend, 31-30. Perhaps the game of the year. Air Force, Navy, Rice, Penn State, and then Southern California, 27-10 in Los Angeles, and collegiate football season as they defeat. 34-21, now to the Orange Bowl. Don Cricky and Bob Trumpy. As they go to the wishbone. 